Splitting five, I'm in doubles. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. To when there was no rush, just rustle. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. To when my pride so much, let the puddle. I ain't going back. I ain't going back. When I say tapped into that hunt. Welcome back to another motherfucking video. Today is going to be a very busy day. Um, we actually have one of our calls with Bedros because as you guys know, we hired him to be our mentor for the next year. We get four one-on-one -on -one half day sessions, which if I'm not mistaken is actually next month is one of our half day sessions I'm excited for. But today is a regular coaching call. But until then, all right, I'm about to fucking die. We saw Kevin and Donald, two of our clients yesterday. We were supposed to train legs, but Kevin broke his toe because they've been walking around Kelowna like crazy, um, and they could barely fucking move their feet. So I was like, well, I gotta push it. I forgot that I was training with Tyler today, and Yorko is a fucking animal. Um, so we're gonna have some fun, because no joke, last time I saw him do leg day, he was fucking pendulum squatting four plates. So, uh, let's see how this fucking goes. It's gonna be rough as shit. Yeah, good luck, dude. When it comes down to, like, my training right now, um, like, fucking, we have a very upper body base plan, like, focus plan. But, like, usually, I really enjoy training leg days, like, on a consistent basis. Right now, I only have one a week. I actually am only supposed to train five times a week, but I've been training six because it's weird for me to take a day off in the middle of the week. I'm supposed to do Monday, Tuesday, skip Wednesday, take a rest, then Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But it, it's fucking weird. Like it throws me out of routine, I don't really like it. So I just train fucking Monday to Saturday anyways. So I'm gonna be talking to my coach about it. Uh, but I'm not gonna lie. I haven't been training legs as hard. I haven't been skipping it, I've been doing it, but I haven't been training it as hard um, just based off of like what I know I need to grow for my next men's physique show. Which, by the way, I'm not telling you guys what it is yet, so you're gonna have to fucking stay tuned. I'm trying to fucking force myself into situations where I need to train with people that are going to push me to my limits, like Tyler, um, because I want to really, like, supersede my fucking... What's the word I'm looking for? Expectations. All right, for this next one. I want to look really good. I want to show up fucking prepared. I want to show up as my absolute best self, like I always do, but fucking obliterate every other physique I've ever put on stage. You know who Andrew Tate is? Andrew. Yes. It's like vaguely. Every I just time I hear the word top now, I just think of top G. <laughs> That's what they all call him. Fuck my life, bro. He's like my favorite and least favorite person on the planet, which I guess is exactly what he wants, right? Like that's he, the thing. He speaks some truth. I have never seen somebody do this to the fucking internet like Andrew Tate has. Really? Yeah. It's everywhere. <laughs> bro, I'm talking about, like I'm scrolling TikTok, every second video is him. <laughs> scroll, Andrew Tate, scroll, bullshit. Scroll, Andrew Tate, scroll, bullshit. I'm not fucking following him, dude. He's just there. It's and then I was, niche. I was engaging a little bit because there's a couple things that I liked and then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just not engage for a little bit. So I haven't liked anything in two weeks. Still fucking there, bro. Everywhere. I think you two need to meet. Do a collab video I'm top or two? G, bro. Yeah. I'm top G. Alright, I might not have fucking millions like this motherfucker looks like he has. But I'm talking about like 500 million. You fucking bought a new Bugatti. Introduce yourself uh, to the camera. Tyler Yorko, nice to meet you. <laughs> that right there is how you get a pump though. Rice Krispies, one of the best pumps you can get. So you never, never, never? started eating them until like this week because I've been fucking starving in the morning. As soon as I saw them at the front desk, I was like, these guys know what's up. Rice Krispies and muffins. That's how you muffins? get a good pump. Muffin pumps? Oh. Is a Regan Grimes thing? I have no idea. Well, it's just like a viral thing with the muffin pump. I'm pretty sure that's a Regan Grimes thing. He always, he's got like shirts made and everything. Huh. Muffin pump. Go way harder than most of y'all. One of y'all die when I'm close to y'all. I don't really care to get close to y'all. I live in it. Let's fucking go, baby. Two stamps. Every night studio boot camps. All I had down was a lot of free time. She in my mind and my two hands. And the same confidence that I have right now was more back then, to be honest. Ah! Savage, bro. Come on. Drive it. All you. All you. Come on, drive it. Easy. Keep pushing. Come on. Drive. These ones count. Come on. Come on. Drive it. Yep. Let's go. Haven't even touched it yet. Let's go. Drive it. 
One. One. At least. At least one. Come on. Drive it. Drive it. Drive it. Uh, no. <laughs> Oh shit. What the fuck is that? My leg was, my leg just like, was, oh shit. Oh god. Holy fuck dude, my right leg is giving out. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I got some really stepped on it, my fucking quad. Come on. Let's go. Easy. Let's go. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Come on. Drive it. Don't touch me. It's a little breath of fresh air to see people spot, uh, spot properly, bro. Yeah. I literally, like, I've, like, screamed at people before because I'll be like, fuck, you see this kid squatting, he's trying his best. His little friends just standing there holding the bar like this. Like, pushing, pushing him up and like, forward. What the fuck are you going to do that, bro? It's like 225 fucking pounds. Just going to curl it up. Go. 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 Keep going. Keep going. All the way up. Three, four, let's go, let's go. Holy let's shit. Let's, let's, go. let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Go. Oh, go. 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 Alright. Thank you. Thank you. That was a good day. Appreciate it. That was a good day. So I'm we'll have to do it more. Yeah. Tell me. Every time I'm in here, I'll give you a test. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, me and me train. Like, it's like they're fucking we need to, We need to do that week of training and stuff before September, because after the event, me and Haley are going to lose three from here and head to Mexico. I'm down. We can do that on the Yeah. I can barely breathe. Fucking leg day is done. It's exactly how brutal as I thought it was going to be, which makes me happy. And now we're headed back to the house to start our work day. We got a lot of shit going on today. So buckle the fuck in, let's get it popping. Tell me, did you snooze your alarm this morning? There's a lot of you guys that did. There's a lot of you guys that chose to hit that snooze button. So you actively chose to be mediocre today. You actively chose to sleep on your goals today. You actively chose to slack the fuck off today. There's gonna to be a lot of people that pat you on the back and say, it's okay, it's all good. You needed that extra five minutes. You needed that extra three minutes. You needed that extra two minutes between your first, second, third, fourth, and fifth fucking alarm. No, you didn't, you a bitch. Wake the fuck up. So Brian gave me these little boots. Um, they're little baby shoes, baby boots, all right? And I've already been like sitting down looking at the ultrasound um, of our kid multiple times per week, multiple times per day. But now looking at these boots, I'm gonna be leaving them in my office so I can like consistently remind myself of my why. Those boots are why I wake up one time every day. Those boots are why I put in more work than anybody else. Those boots are why I outwork every single motherfucker who thinks they can outwork me. Why? Because I wanna have the body that my son looks up to. I wanna have the business that my son looks up to. I wanna have the mindset that my son looks up to when he is born. I'm not fucking playing. I want to be my kid's hero. Fuck Superman, okay? <laughs> fuck Spider-Man, fuck all those superheroes. I wanna be my son's hero. So the reason why I wanted to do that podcast is because we had a couple of our clients yesterday like talk about their morning routines and talk about how they were like neglecting them and like not putting the work in and it was hard for them and they kept forgetting their journal and they were like doing all this other shit. Um, so I just fucking went off yesterday and like just basically broke it down to them. Like if you want to be successful, you got to start putting the fucking work in. You got to recenter yourself in your fucking why. Those boots are my why now. All right. Like I want to be the absolute best dad possible. And that's why I'm taking care of my health because I don't want to be a fat fuck and have my kid following those footsteps. And if people don't like hearing that dope unsubscribe, like I don't play around with that shit. I don't want to be a fat fuck. I don't want to be a broke fuck. I literally want to be a walking example of what my kid would like to be. Business, mindset, relationship with Julia, health, everything. I want my son to be able to look at me and be like, that's the type of man I want to be. There's a lot of fathers out there that don't fucking 
hold that standard. And that's why there's a lot of kids out there that are struggling right now with their mental health, with their physical health, with their emotional health, because their parents didn't hold the fucking line for them. Their parents didn't walk the line, show them who to fucking be. I know, I've seen it, I've experienced it, and I refuse to let that happen to my fucking kid. It's not happening. So guys, all right, we are currently at number 24 for the top podcasts in entrepreneurship in wherever the fuck this is. Oh, Dubai. Yeah. You know, like you were saying. Yeah. So the reason why I bring this up and I want to show you guys is because, all right, I am the in the top, I'm the t 24th podcast, all right, for entrepreneurship in like th that area around Dubai. Above Gary V, all right, and fucking Andy Fisella. That's dope as shit. Now again, this obviously ranges up and down. Like I'm not gonna sit here and fucking be like, I'm the best in the world, because let's be real, but I'm like, that's cool. I'm like, I really like coming back and looking at these charts because it just makes me feel like so grateful. Um, and like fills me with gratitude. Like I look at looking at the chart every day, because again, we're number 26 in Canada for entrepreneurship, number 130 in Canada for business, number 130 in the States for entrepreneurship. And then it just ranges, Belgium, Australia, um, Dubai, Indonesia, Czech Republic, Dominican Republic, Egypt, Estonia, Sri Lanka, Ghana, um, Trinidad, Qatar, Jordan. What the fuck? It's so cool, dude. Like worldwide. I literally <laughs> love seeing this shit. And I also wanted to say thank you as well. Like if any of you guys on the uh, on the channel also listen to the podcast, I'm gonna show you guys this shit because we are going to be putting mini in like board, all right, like dorm and board training. Um, because we want to get her even better with fucking like people and like training wise and like dogs and shit. Cause she's not the best for the other dogs since she got attacked in Calgary when she was younger. So we need to get her to learn how to use this. Bro, it's oh like God. a strong muzzle. Cause she's going to be living with them for like, uh, it's like a legit like fucking six week program. Wow. And she stays there from Monday to fucking Friday every week with them and they train and train. There's like a bunch of dogs there. And because she's not great with other dogs already, like fucking just in case she's out there running around, she's gotta wear this, same with the other dogs. Oh, yeah, so she's gonna be better with dogs after this. Yeah, exactly, better with dogs, better with everybody. Yeah, cause so, I remember because when I was- She's already good with kids and everything else, yeah. but she's not great with dogs. Yeah. Uh, ever since she got attacked when she was younger. So I need to feed her treats through the muzzle to get her fucking used to it. So this is what we're doing right now. Come here, in. Push you go like that, and you keep it on her face. I let her eat it. And like, this is like what they want us to do. And then I'm gonna lock it on her fucking head and I gotta make sure she doesn't rip it off. Hello. Hola. Hola. <laughs> Who are you currently dealing with? What's going on with the renewal process? Let's go through this. Through all this. Pop the new baby inside my way. I play the catch and baby just slide on me. Only time you lie is when you lie on me. Be my forever baby, come ride my way. Pop a new baby inside my way. So. This is my fucking food split right now. I know I haven't given you guys an update on this one in a while. So currently I'm eating 2,478 calories. If you guys remember, maybe I can get Rashawn to like throw an old image up on the screen. 1,100 calories where I ended my prep. 2,478 calories is what we're on right now. I'm eating 197 grams of protein a day, 42 grams of fat, and 328 grams of carbs. Now, doing way better, all right? And I feel actually really fucking good. I'm gonna throw up my photos right now up on the screen as well, guys. Feeling very good, feeling very fucking strong. Um, but I'm not gonna lie, like I fucking hate cooking. I don't like doing it. And I've been so overwhelmed with fucking business shit right now and how busy I am that I've been also neglecting just sitting down and doing my own meal plans for meal prep for you. So yes, excuses, excuses, excuses. I'm gonna figure it out this weekend. I'm actually gonna be sitting down like right away here and just ordering fucking food for the next month straight so I don't have to think about it anymore. But right now, the reason why I'm eating just a bagel, all right, is because it has 41 grams of carbs and I gotta get more in. And a straight fucking turkey patty is because I don't have any other meat left. Uh, well, I don't have any meat cooked here, not even any left. Um, and I gotta get protein in, so it's legit. Like, I'm going to eat this with nothing on it, and I'm going to eat that bagel fucking plain, raw. All right, energy drink trip, because your boy needs caffeine. When I say I need caffeine, I more mean I need fucking 600 milligrams of caffeine a day. Um, because technically I've already had probably around... Actually, I've only had like 50. 
Still that same neurotic, psychotic, anxiety ridden You're wildly driven, guy with a vision that's finally getting Another chance at his life to make some wiser decisions And all these songs are therapy, it's like a diary written How you going, man? Oh, nice I usually don't hit the subscribe, I'm gonna leave that up to you Okay, I'm hitting the subscribe Or what's your name? Benit Benit? Yeah Nicole, bro, nice to meet you Yeah, nice to meet you, guys Dude, I was uh, talking to Brian about this About how, like, I honestly liked LA more uh, because of how nice everybody was and every yeah. single time we told somebody that that lived in LA They're like what we're like dude Americans are way nicer than Canadians, yeah. right? You got to be in a sp specific places for it though Are they like shitty in some places because yeah. they're, really they're fucking nice even the airports bro like being in Kelowna Like walking around with a camera. It's like sometimes you get like mad dirty looks and like people are rude as shit Yeah, and I'm like but in LA it's just accepted everywhere 100%. across the board But I'm like that's that's nice seeing that like right there yeah, like that's cool. People being curious and what's going on, etc. I'm like, that's pretty lit. I like it a lot. Um, it's something that, again, it's like out of the norm. Not a lot of people are used to it. Not a lot of people are like accepting of it yet, even though it's 2022 and everything is done on the fucking internet, which still doesn't make any sense to me. But it's cool to see people like warming up to like cameras and fucking film crews and just people doing TikTok dances and all this shit everywhere. It's fucking funny. Now let's go see uh, Brian and Chris' reaction to the gift I'm bringing them. You just walk in my fucking house? That's your gift. Okay. <laughs> Walks in. Hell yeah, bro. I do the same thing to you. I know. And I came bearing gifts. I like it. You usually take mine. Why? Why? <laughs> what, what's going on here? Nothing. I was just going to the store. Thank you. I come over to his house and tell him that vape is bad for his health because I want him to live longer and then he gets angry. That's right. Because you're not my dad! It already, it already, you can already tell the difference. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say you can hear it. Yeah, you yeah. can tell the difference. Like as soon as I walked in here, my yeah, right away the acoustic to Brian. Yeah, so I want, I have enough uh, to do this wall and this wall too. And again, the only reason I haven't done it is Chris. Kirsten's like, I thought we were doing that together. Well, she doesn't watch this. Put she that will. in the vlog. She will. I I can't. Can't. I'm just joking. So um, she really, really wants to help me. So I'm excited though because I have also have these lights, bro. There's two different places I can film from. Film. I want to film from right here because I think that this, like the vision right behind me, is going to be really cool. And then we can also film from right here because well, you can film from everywhere. That's the thing. So like, as soon as you get better curtains that you actually like, yeah, like you can film like fucking beside the window. Yeah. You can film in front of the window with the yeah. fucking curtains there. Like as long as you can. Uh, What's it called? Set your settings properly. Like me and Brayden will film like that. I also just, the camera just needs to be set. Properly. You just motivated me. I want, like Pedro said, I want every single from every angle of the room. I want it to be filmable. Yeah, because you can do like, dude. Even if you literally like fucking, I would say fuck the curtains for now. Like legit. Because if you're gonna be filming a lot of your shit like this anyways, yeah, then you should have those off the fucking window. The only problem with that is that this is on ground level, so somebody just like looked into my fucking house and saw it. I was just telling Daniel that the annoying part of being an entrepreneur is that I get so fucking busy that I don't have time for housework. This was the shelf that was up in the gym back in the day. All right, it was up against the window. All right, so all you OG Iron Energy guys, all right, or ladies um, that were there, you might have known about it. Like, if you went near the supplement section, it was up and screwed against the window. Well, I took it down because I didn't want it in there anymore because I wanted to spread out the area. We we're gonna throw it in the garbage, but then I was like, oh, this would look dope up in my house. I'm not gonna tell you guys where because I want to vlog it when I actually put it up. And it's literally just been sitting in my garage because I don't have any fucking time to actually do it there. Not, no, it actually sat in the gym for like a month and a half, just on the ground. Then it got brought to my house and now it's just sitting here. So in another month and a half, I'll put it up. That's like one thing, again, fucking just told you guys about this shit. It's like the one problem with being an entrepreneur is I don't have time for anything else. So that's why I needed to hire people to come and do the basic shit for me because honestly, I would rather do anything than cut grass. So we're gonna get this set up because we have our call with Bedros. And I would rather do it from a fucking better place than just my desk. So I'm gonna set this fucking camera up and we're gonna fucking live stream or zoom it from fucking here, bro. Beautiful. Right? Look at that. There we go. How cool is that, eh? That's pretty. Ooh. There we go. There we yeah, go. Yeah, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to do it. Look at that, dude. Boom. Eh? Yeah, because I wanna start doing like videos in here podcast in here like I want to start actually recording my podcast too like literally just sit like have like a subject and just start fucking spitting in the camera guys I like to try to up level as much as I can on a continual basis because 
if if I don't feel like I'm challenging myself, if I don't feel like I'm uncomfortable, I usually feel way too bored and I feel like I'm dying. Um, that's why, yeah, I might complain sometimes that I'm super busy or I might get stressed the fuck out, but I would rather be busy than bored. And it's something that I say all the fucking time. Um, because as soon as I get bored, like I just, like I start to get really frustrated with my life. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, why am I grinding this hard? Like, why, why are we fucking doing all this shit? Because it, it frustrates me to not have like, that's the word I'm looking for. It frustrates me not to have like something continuously happening because then I don't feel like there's a purpose behind it. Does that make sense? Right? So, um, I might show you guys a little bit of the Bedros call. I haven't decided yet. So you're gonna have to fucking stay tuned, but that's what we're, about to, what we're about to go into right now. Let's rock and roll, fellas. Let's not waste any more time. So the best way to go about this is we want to start off with share, share your wins since we've had our half day, what, what wins you're having. Uh, what questions you have next. So yeah, mind blown. Again, Bedros fucking delivers on his promise of being one of the best, he says, the best business coaches on the market. Guys, I'm not playing, all right? Every single time I've sat down with that man, I've had my mind blown, okay? And we've only done one half day session, all right? A little bit of coaching at his event, the High Performance Summit. You guys watched the vlogs already. Um, and this is our first 30 minute coaching call that we have in our year of coaching. We have four half day sessions, if I'm not mistaken, and then a coaching call every single month where you actually get on the phone and then we just have access to his texting, etc. The guy fucking delivers. We went over a lot today, all right? We went over a bunch of stuff when it comes down to actual management, um, training and manuals for our business. So when we do franchise, which we also spoke about today, everything is streamlined, it's very easy. It's easy to implement and easy to understand throughout every single piece of the operation itself. We talked about promos, we talked about the charity fundraisers, we talked about a summer shred that we're going to be doing, we talked about the shake bar, we talked about personal training. We talked about so fucking much that we left that call with four things that we we're going to take action on instantly to not only up our member base, not only make more money, but provide a better fucking service for our members, which if you know Brian and myself, you know is very, very important to us. I'm excited and I'm happy as fuck. Okay, with that being said though, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I appreciate you guys so much for fucking watching. Um, I'm not gonna take you to yoga and stuff with me because you don't wanna see me die on the mat. You don't wanna see me sweat and pant and be in pain. You probably fucking do if you're a hater on this channel, um, or honestly, or somebody who just likes me on this channel because it'd be funny, but I'm not gonna show you guys. Last thing I wanted to add is stay tuned for the Amarok Aesthetics drop, guys. Okay, I'm not playing. Um, as you guys already know, all right, as you guys already know, we are looking at an August drop. I don't know the exact dates yet, so you're gonna have to stay tuned, but we're looking at an August drop right now, as long as everything goes right. We get the hats, we got the leggings, we got the shirts, we got the sports bras, we got the oversized tees, we got a bunch of shit that I'm excited to share with you guys. I'm excited to show you guys. It's gonna be fucking lit. Like the video, comment below, and fucking subscribe. Let's go!